this army right here. Look at this. Army. It has been too long. A lot has happened these past months, and I'm sure we've all been affected by the virus. Yes, you know which one. However, does anyone know the true cause of the disastrous outbreak? No? Well, that's why RCN is here to deliver reliable news. I'm sure you're aware of the name Vactis, also known as the Emperor of the Vactovian Empire. Actually, confirm he is behind the Ebola 19 pandemic. As we can see, he states that he created this clan wide disease as a tactical recruitment strategy for his empire before the notice of the decline of activity and imperial morale go down at incredible speed. This next topic has to do with a very familiar name within the community. Most would say this name carries a lot of weight. Look at this, a screenshot depicting false bed in the middle of a DDoS attack and attacked by none other than Courtney herself. Unbelievable. Courtney is a confirmed DDoSing doxer. This is indisputable evidence that cannot be argued against. But where did this toxic behavior stem from? All we have to do is take a quick dive into Courtney's love life and behold, the answer is found. Wow, that looks rough. No wonder she's doxing people. It seems that professional Roadblox player Swaga is going through a rough patch with Courtney. You know, things like this can be difficult, but I just want you all to know that... Uh-huh. Got it. Well, Arsene, it seems Swag and Court are back together. So, moving on. Today... We have a very special guest that has made several appearances on the podcast. Guardy Boss Anderson the Fourth joining us today. Welcome, Guardy Boss. The fourth? Who's the first, second, and third? It's your Hello? lineage of uh, royalty. Now, I know, I know it's a sensitive subject, but everyone's asking about it. And as RCN, we have to report on it. The Swagger Courtney situation. How do you feel about it? Why is she friends with someone that does those things to her? Like, a girl needs to have her standards and not just be friends with any boy that just spams her DMs like that. I agree 100% with you, Guardi Boss. What clan are you in right now? Extension Unit. I own the clan. Extinction Unit. Extension, not Extinction. Extension. Does your group Extension Unit consist of extending hitboxes? No, Green. In a bare knuckle fist fight, who would win? You? Me. Or Swagger? If anybody ever trash talks me on this game, they won't win a fist fight in real life. It's all that sparring with Paul. Chill out, man. I'm being for real. All those times where Paul would run downstairs and turn off your computer and you'd get into a fist fight with him. I get into a fist fight with him. And Paul smack you in the head and then you hit him hard. Sure, bro. Back. He didn't smack me in the head. No way. Guard, would you rather date a giraffe or a whale? Why is that a question? In my notes. Nobody, it's in your notes. Would you rather live without Paul or Courtney? One has to go. Court. Court? Yeah, Court has to go. Good, good answer. This podcast is sponsored by RCO Criminal Records. Whether you're submitting someone or trying to become a Paul Tovian, RCR is here for your cheater exposing needs and Paul's teaching coming, you the Paul Tovian way. Let's help our community. Glory to Paul. We have an esteemed guest on the show today. He goes by the name of Zanye Zoldan. Welcome to the show, Zanye. What's good? There has been some talk and discussion of some of the things that you have done in the past, and I'd like to ask you some questions regarding that. When you joined VAC, you had Maddie, aka The Luck, as your trainer. You ended up getting romantic with her and even watched, <coughs> excuse my language, cartoon porn during her lectures. What was that about? Uh, this is what happened. Basically, look, that's Cap. Uh, I said Photoshop. This is the real story. Uh, this is the true story. I put up to the lecture or something like that. It was a training. And then Maddie was started whispering in game. She's like, yo, what's up? 
DM me. She, she started going up on me and shit. And then I DM'd her and all that. And then she had to lie about it and say that I did it instead of her, you feel me? So then people started believing her because they could be simping and shit. That's the true story right there, my nigga. So this uh, video up on the screen right now, that's just Photoshop. That's just bullshit. Yeah, that's, that's, I didn't do that. I don't even have a MacBook, bro. That's a legit MacBook. Think, you think I got enough money for a MacBook, man? No, no, I believe you. Ah, uh, no, I, I, I could see them setting you up like that. I think that confirms that she was giving you signs that she was interested. Yeah, she is. Even though all of this business went down, are you still in love with Maddie? Nah, I was never in love with her. She a can't love her much. Zani, final question. Would you happen to have any sort of disability? Like what? Autism, perhaps. Nah, I'm straight. I believe every word you say, Zanya. I'd like to thank you for coming on to the show and uh, clearing up the air between you and Maddie. We have a special guest on the show today. He goes by the name of White. Glad to have you on. Glad to be here. In one of the previous episodes of the RCN podcast, I covered how Worcester Thorne had a tragic accident, breaking both of his arms and not being able to compete in any RCL tournaments. You, you mocked, <laughs> you, <laughs> you mocked this incident. I believe the quote I made was, Crab Rave, ding dong, Vork is dead, Crab Rave. It was a comedic take. I stand by the statement. When is Void coming out? Void, man, void. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of what is being done. All I can say is soon. Only four more years until Void's release. <laughs> Pretty accurate. Perfect. Thank you very much for being a guest on the show. Good stuff. Hello, RCM Podcast. Today we have a very special guest, the Lord of all row bangers, Lord himself. Hello, Lord. What's up, everybody? YSH Lord, you already know who it is, the big dog, Lord of all rule bangers. But yeah, what's up? I'm never gonna sell out again, but what's up? I'm the face of this community. Every server you go into, anything to do with rule banging, I'm pretty sure my name's been said over a hundred times. People's always asking me, like, what's rule banging like? And when it comes in the clown community, people always talk about SMGs and fair city war zones. It's not all that. Trust me, it's a legit thing. People really gangbang on Roblox, you know. They rap a group. They kill people who disrespect that group. It's really toxic. Shout out Big G40, Gun Hill 40, top shooters on the block. Don't want the smoke cream. No, 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 not at all. Definitely uh, not. Definitely not. In the past, you have faced several charges, such as murder, aggravated assault or battery, manslaughter. I didn't tell you to bring this up in front of these people. Burglary and narcotic trafficking. Listen, the way I see it, age is just a number. Bars are just bars. You better cut this camp fry blast everybody up in here. Greetings, Faded and Xurix. We have received word of you both online dating and sleeping together on the platform. How are what? you guys holding up? I just quit it. So. You quit what? Oh, dear. Oh, really? Why? Good for you! Because just unhealthy in general. Oh, yeah? What happened with uh, you and Zurich? Nothing really happened. Did you guys watch Rabbits together? It's like a uh, Netflix Rabbit? put together, you know? No, I've never heard. What do you mean? If you could do that, that, would you do it? What do you mean by Rabbit? Huh? If you could do that, would you do it? No, because I don't have... Like any idea of uh, what the if that? What next question? Faded, are you actually Latina? Yeah, oh, okay, so that if you do, what? Huh? Would you say that? Uh, that if you do, what do you mean by that? Uh, if you do that, would it do? Are you high? What are you high? What do you mean? Can, right, whatever. Faded, can you make this noise? Faded, can you make this noise? <laughs> can you make that noise? No, no, I cannot. Did you know there's evidence of you being racist at a VAT soccer match? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I only called whoever it was a monkey because of their behavior, not of their skin tone. So no, that does not verify as racist. It's a very uh, sensitive political climate right now to be using terms like that. It's, it's just monkey. I only said it um, out of behavior. Can you uh, repeat these words for me? Heal! Monkey! Heal! Monkey! All right, thank you so much, Faded. <laughs> Faded, you okay? I think Fade is drunk. No, I'm not. Are you retarded? All right, uh, thank you for being on the podcast. Thank you for clearing up the air about you being racist. You stay out of uh, calm people monkey, okay? Okay.
So wait, does that mean I'm gonna Alright, goodbye. Say, hey, Security. Gorilla, big. I said Security. 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 Get her out of here. Wait. Okay, it's time to get me no over puppet like the last deck. Move white girls like the smoke on my ass crack. Move black girls, cause me fuck it up and leave her. I love her. I love bitches too. That should be running Peter and Adidas with some short shorts. Be over all over me. My green is where it's supposed to be. Your green is in my grocery. This game is dude. I stole this girl and now he got that gold TV. My dick is like an accent mark. It's all about the over E. Hot like a parked car. Major, why did you call Satanic?